Textron Systems, we brought the XM204 Top Attack Anti-Vehicle Munition System. It's designed to uh, defeat armored vehicles, uh, any threat vehicle, uh, by putting a penetrator through the top deck of the vehicle. And there are a couple different reasons that the XM204 is superior to what's on the market right now. So the traditional bottom attack technology, vehicles have to roll over the top of the system in order to be effective. With the XM204 and being a top attack system, it's a standoff, so it tracks vehicles from a pretty good distance away, tracks their movement close to the launcher, and then when they're about 50 meters away is when it actually performs the strike on the target. Uh, the great part about that is it's very easy and rapid for soldiers to emplace. It's very quick to enable, and it controls a, a huge area. Thinking of a bottom attack field that needs dozens of small mines in order to be able to control that area, just one system has that 50 meter radius uh, in any direction, which it's gonna be able to control. And the other great part about the system too is it has self-destruct mechanisms to make sure that there is no lingering threat uh, to either follow-on forces or non-combatants. And then the other part that's great about the system too is it's very easy to train on, very simple for the soldiers to understand. So even if it's been sitting in storage for four or five years waiting for the conditions or an attack by a threat force, the soldiers will pick it up very, very quickly, be able to move it into position, and then move on to perform other tasks. It was designed for the United States Army, specifically for the European theater. Uh, the, the Army asked for companies to help make a more complicated obstacle, more complex and more difficult to breach. So Textron Systems has actually been working on top of technology for decades at this point. We've had previous systems like the Hornet and the Scorpion, uh, but this current model is using the latest technology to be a much more effective system. So it's not on the battlefield as of yet. Uh, the U.S. Army has made their initial purchase, but it's going through final testing, and then we expect to have it you know, the, into the theater within a year or two. And the great part about the system is that it really, you... Uh, do not have to saturate an area with bottom attack mines. The, you know, you think of the people who own the land, the farmers, the people who work there, they're able to continue to do that until those threat forces actually come into a position where they're going to challenge those international borders. And so with this, you have that rapid emplacement, but it's one that because it's so easy to train that even though it was designed for the United States Army, it's very easy for Polish, under, Polish soldiers to pick up and understand. It's very easy for the Baltic nations, for all of the countries who could potentially be affected by the, the current threat. Uh, they all will be able to use it as a multi or excuse me, an interoperable system in those uh, multinational combined forces. It is more expensive than a standard mine. So if you, it's the simple drive over the top, you're, most of them you'll be able to get for a couple of thousand dollars. It is a very cheap system. This is obviously much more expensive than that. However, you do have four different systems. And when you start to add up how many of the bottom attack mines are required to cover that same distance versus one of these, the cost savings, it's really about equal.